keep recording. If you if I record it, record it. Trust me. Bro, I don't have, I have issues with y'all. Bro, I'm from a newer generation or like the generation that hasn't sucked and, you know what I mean, jerked off everything in the industry. I get it, bro. Like, not everybody's going to like me. Like, I started to realize it. But like, bro, the, sometimes the hate and everything they be giving me. And I understand other outlets might be newer who might have some animosity against me. Like, yo, we not about different academics. Bro, they would do it to you if, if they felt like you were the face. Bro, I had people accuse me. Yo, Meek was accusing me. Yo, I heard, yo, salute to my Adam, because we talked. Adam was talking about some of the shit that he he talked about. Adam talked about posting 6 9 when he did King Von. I never posted that. You know when Meek was in that call, Meek said, I posted it. I never posted it. Nigga, I was mad at 6 9 because of that. That's a fact. But he called me out and said, I posted it, which I didn't. He called me out for posting a nigga who was beefing with him, dissing him. Um, Poundside Pop, I never posted him. That nigga did an interview with Vlad. That nigga paid other people to post him. I said, bro, I don't care what money you offer me. I won't post you dissing Meek because me and Meek, we into some shit. But all these things, they really just personalize it with me. Like, oh, it's academics doing everything. Bro, yeah, yo, I just mentioned two cases where it's Vlad and No Jumper. Y'all ain't mentioned him at all. Let me show you this. Bro, I, yo, yo, just, I'm probably going to get off stream after this. I, I, bro, I, I can't take the fake shit, bro. My brother called me early and said, Ack, yo, my brother, I promise you, my brother. He says, Ack, you the big dog. You got to learn how to, but I'm like, yo, bro, honestly, bro, like, bro, I be trying to be such a real person, a real human. Like, this shit does affect me a little bit because I don't do that type of shit. I'm going to give you another example. Bro, if y'all ever seen me, bro, I never really just just took the, the, the stance of this and Hot 97, this and all these dudes or whatever. Bro, I didn't. That was never my thing. Bro, they started dissing me. I thought it was because of 6 9 but also they, they just dissed me because they're like, oh, my information might not be true. Which, by the way, everything I've ever said, nobody's ever said, yo, act is lying. But also... They start dissing me because of other shit. They're like, "Oh, you're dissing, you're rocking with, well, you're rocking with six nine. And I'm like, "Bro, like, yo, it's crazy. It's only crazy because yo, I'm gonna just end it after this. I ain't gonna. Lie, I'm gonna get on stream. Yo, to Ebro, to, to Rosenberg, and I know Rosenberg. You messed me some stuff, and you wanted me to respond. Yeah, I'm gonna respond to you publicly, brother. Bro, I never had no hatred for you. I was trying to make it as a independent creator you and ebro never fucked with me i tried to talk to y'all i tried to do everything with y'all y'all didn't fuck with me because i thought i was irrelevant i thought i was a bum and what happened is when you saw what the internet was and you saw what i became you switched your energy so you were never on trying to educate me and school me you know who was on that, brother? Yo, Charlemagne, I met him in 2013. Bro, he was always... Yo, you could watch my first interview with Charlemagne. Charlemagne, yo, I was a little sloppy a little bit at the end. He took the mic from me. He said, yo, Ak, I'm going to show you how to outro a motherfucking interview. I didn't know at that time. I was just doing me. Y'all refused to even talk to me. Y'all was just so high up on your high horse. Bro, I'm being 100% honest. So, I've heard y'all diss me mad times, and I kind of realized, I'm like, yo, it's probably because it was 6 9 said about Ebro, this and third. Bro, I haven't dissed y'all. Yo, Ebro, I fuck with you in terms of, like, some of your logic sometimes. Bro, you turn me into, like, like you try to make me online, like, yo, I'm one of the niggas who's just so counterproductive. Like, you try to make me an enemy. I didn't have no enemy vibes for you. Bro, I looked up to you. When I was, like, in terms of conversation, not talent. I thought Charlemagne was talented. I thought you were good at conversation. You, but, but here's the thing. You nullify that. You didn't want to hear me. Bro, I tried with you, brother. I tried to interview y'all. Y'all said, nah, yo, you Charlemagne's boy. Y'all was playing the industry games. I'm not an industry dude. Y'all dissed me. Y'all threw me to the side. Y'all act like I was a bum. And I was like, all right, cool. I'm going to just keep working, keep working. When I started developing an audience, you asked me to come get drinks with you. 
I'm not gonna lie, it wasn't even ego on my side. I didn't even get a chance to do that. But also, even if I did, bro, I'm not no fake industry nigga. I was never ever gonna tell you like, yo, bro, you can't. Yo, I still fuck with Charlemagne. So if you don't fuck with him, you can't fuck. Yo, Charlemagne's never said that to me. He's never said, yo, wait. You, when I when I interviewed Charlemagne, I told him I said, yo, I try to interview some girl. Or I think her name was K Fox. He was like, yo, all right, cool. He said, like, let me just teach you a couple things. Bro, y'all played industry games with me. I'm I'm being sincere just because Rosenberg, I'm going to read your messages, but I, I want this to be in context. I'm not trying to beef with y'all no more, bro. I'm just trying to show y'all, man, because you know what? There's a lot of kids that look up to me, and that's why I keep telling y'all, I'm not the last. There's going to be another young kid that comes up. He's going to have way more influence than academics. But here's the thing, just the same way y'all disregarded me, y'all gonna disregard him. And I'm doing this for him to understand. So, y'all never fuck with me at all. Charlemagne did. Even with his 6ix9ine shit, me and Charlemagne talk a lot of times about 6ix9ine. He was never saying, yo, I'm about to get on my platform. And even at times when we had disagreements, like, we sorted that out. Y'all never ever engaged with me. All of a sudden, I see, I see y'all start talking about me recently. I'm not trying to diss y'all. Truth be told. Bro, I'm doing good. At least I think in my career, I'm not trying to diss y'all. I'm not looking at the chat. I'm looking straight. Well, I wish I could look at y'all like that. But hold on. So what happened is y'all have some issue against 6 9 whatever, cool. Like, bro, I've tried to, you know, explain, talk to people like, yo, he do some shit I don't agree with. Let me keep going further. Y'all have looked at me and been unable to even... First of all, y'all wouldn't even talk to me before I got lit. Bro, that's one of the most disrespectful things that I can't fuck with y'all about. Bro, y'all never talked to me before I got lit. Yo, y'all told me that y'all would never talk to me because I'm cool with... Charlemagne, and as soon as I got lit, y'all was like, "Oh, yo, Ebro, you know this? Like, I, I don't, I'm mean, ain't gonna put on, pull up no receipts, but you know this? You hit me up, you said, ah, could we have drinks?' And I'm like, "Yo, Ebro, I was trying to holler at you a long time ago. You don't want to talk to me back then. You want to give me no advice back then. You don't want to do nothing back then." Rosenberg, same with you, bro. Like, you don't want to fuck with me back then. Be honest. Like, y'all niggas not gonna be honest. The thing is. Everybody, everybody in my circle, everybody around me says, yo, act, you're too big for these niggas. Honestly, that's what they tell me now. But that's not how I'm going to treat it. I'm just treating y'all and I'm going to speak about y'all because I don't want y'all to keep the cycle. And I hope I don't keep the cycle. When I meet the next person who's going to be that nigga, I don't want to treat him like he ain't shit. I want to empower him. I want to show him the ropes if he's asking. If he's humble enough to be like, yo, yo, teach me these things. I want to teach him. Y'all niggas really disregarded me. And going back to like Ebro and, and and Rosenberg, yo, y'all don't want to even know. You know, you know how bad I wanted to have that conversation with Rosen uh no, no uh Ebro. I mean I think Rosenberg was there too, but I remember he had a conversation with B dot just about yo, what what type of stuff Hot 97 covers because they're they're that big of a platform and this and third and what type of stuff really works. Man, they would never talk to me about that because I wasn't lit and I understand it. So I just feel a way because it's years later and then I get it. The clubhouse thing happened, but I hear Ebro and Rosenberg have really strong opinions. These are the same people who wouldn't have talked to me if I didn't have attention on me. Y'all not here, like, as much as y'all be like, yo, y'all here for the culture, y'all only here for the clout. Be if I didn't have attention, y'all wouldn't care about me. So now, y'all want me to respect y'all when, in reality, th the landscape has changed. Yo, Ebro, I tried to talk to you mad times. I understand you got some shit with 6 9 Bro, the first time I met the people that, that, that supposedly, like, run 6 9 label, my brother be telling me, he told me tonight. I talked to him tonight. He told me tonight. He said, well, Ebro was there. Ebro, you were the first time I met the people who are in control of 6ix9ine's situation or his label. 
You were there. You, Steve Stout, and a bunch of people. I didn't see you that night. But you never thought I was important to have a conversation with then. I was a young entrepreneur, a person who wanted to learn. You never thought I was good enough to talk to. You, I hit you on DMs. You never thought I was good enough to talk to. That's why, like, I don't have no issue with y'all. I'm just a little standoffish because y'all didn't think I was good enough to talk to back then. And I know my audience is probably like, yo, act, yo, bro, we don't care. Bro, I don't I don't want to do all this clout shit no more. I'm doing great in my career. I got some deals. I'm going to announce this soon. I'm doing great. I'm just trying to explain to people who they be thinking I'm just super immoral, this and third. That's not the case, bro. Like, I try to fuck with all y'all. Y'all didn't fuck with me. It's like y'all want to do the industry shit with me that, okay, oh, now you're lit. Ignore all we did to y'all. And ignore the fact that we would never fuck with you if you weren't lit and fuck with us. That's fake. I thought this industry was built on some real shit. Also, let me get it. And this way I can clip it again if y'all ain't clip it before. Yo, Rosenberg, bro, like. Bro, you the person who's been like, bro, you took some shit and you started doing exactly what these savage um, um, what's that other guy name? I can't remember. Every rapper that don't like me, do. You're trying to play off this perception that act is just some bitch and you whatever, whatever. You brought up some random shit. I ain't gonna lie, bro. Like, yo, I was at Complex. I did a morning show that was weekly, four times a week. By the way, I'll add Meek Mill into this. Meek, I don't even know why you say you had my address, bro. You had a, like, you could have asked Wayno. You could have just Googled it. I was at Complex for four times a week. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. I was there between the hours of 8 a.m. and 9 a.m. If you wanted to do something, you could have done, you could have set somebody out in Times Square to wait for me before I got in there. I never had no security. Ask anybody, even at Complex, I never had zero security. But you never did that. Most of y'all just be talking out of it. Like, that's the shit that frustrates me because I don't do that with y'all. Because I'll be capping. I know Meek Mill's address. I know all these niggas' address. But why would I say, oh, I know your address trying to intimidate when I'm not going to do anything? They all do it to me. That shit is whack. I'm going to just tell you the truth. I'm going to tell you the truth. So, we had Rosenberg. He saw me one time. By the way, Rosenberg... The people at Complex, they came to me. They said, yo, Ak, would you want to do an interview on a show? We will pay you. And you, you've you been talking slick about me throughout the years. And I'm like, nah, man. Like, the money won't cure somebody who really don't like me. Like, I'm not the person who's just pay for play. So I turned it down. I turned it down. And then later on, I see... Rosenberg, after the show wasn't renewed, talking about, yo, I seen Act One Day in Complex. Rosenberg, you saw me one time ever. You've been making up stories about it. Like, yo, back to the message. I'm reading it. I'm reading it right here. Like, and by the way, Rosenberg, come on. Like, bro, I ain't gonna lie. When, I, when you messaged me, I thought you were gonna be like, yo, I bet. Where we gonna meet at? Nigga, I was so ready. I was so ready. That nigga, I hit a boxing gym. I'm like, I bet. So we gonna go here. Cool. Cool, whatever, whatever. Like, I even told a nigga, I told a nigga in the gym, I say, yo, like, I know what it is, so it's going to be just three of my niggas and three of his niggas. Where, whatever it is, everybody got to wait outside, and we just going to box it out. You going to, like, you know, referee or whatever, whatever, and then we just figure it out what it is. Bro, he, he hit me. He said, bro, I have, I'm not meeting you to fight. He said, I have zero interest in that. Bro, you... You know I'd be upset because like, bro, like, my nigga, you told me you wanted to fight. You didn't tell me you wanted to do nothing else. Bro, you started with you're soft. I wanna beat your ass. Bro, how do y'all like for everybody who like in this industry shit, how y'all wanna talk to me like that? And then when I actually say, alright, cool, let's fight. Now you see now it's gonna look like I'm the bully. Where I'm like, bro, you literally, bro, I never told you I wanted to fight you, dog. 
You said on a video for Hot 97, I want to beat this nigga's ass. This nigga is pussy. And you even said, I think you said you like, yo, I ain't tough, but I could beat this nigga. I bet. If you really believe that, let's go, let's go box. Then you're like, uh, let's not. Bro, like, what we doing? So this is what I this is really what I'm saying to like Ebro and, and Rosenberg. Bro, as much as like I know y'all get I get y'all on like six nine, this and third. But y'all doing the same thing he do, bro. Y'all trolling. Bro, y'all are talking about beating me up, doing this to me, doing that to me. And I literally said, yo, okay, I'm cool with it. I said it on stream. Yo, hit me up in the next week. We could go box. What's up? Bro, you hit me with a message saying the first line, I'm not meeting you to fight. I have zero interest in that. Look at it. Bro, I'm not capping, bro. Like, bro, could I ever get a win? Bro, that's why I, like, I hate the internet, bro. Like, as much as the money, money I make off of it, look at this shit. I'm not me, you to fight. I got zero interest in that. I have an interest. Look, she says, I have an, he says, I have an interest in, in, in you taking advantage of your platform. So you big up and help a woman doing positive in Chicago earlier. That's dope. That's a star. But, man, hip-hop has given us both a lot. I'm going to stop right there. Yo. You're right, Rosenberg. My only thing, and this is where I take a little offense. Rosenberg, could you ask Ebro how long I've been hitting him up for this? Rosenberg, I was broke hitting up Ebro trying to have a conversation with him. I was broke trying to talk to y'all motherfuckers. I was broke trying to really reach out to Hot 97. Y'all didn't care about nigga like me. Y'all really shitted on me, bro. Y'all shitted on me. Y'all would never talk to me until I got lit. And when I got lit, it wasn't that y'all want to talk to me. It was like how y'all could use me. Bro, if y'all don't understand that I'm a human as well, I get y'all understand. Like, yo, yo, this thing is lit. This not... Bro, that wasn't what I was. Bro, I could literally just violate y'all and, and not talk about real shit. I want to talk about real shit with y'all. Because y'all really just disrespected me for so mad long. Bro, we could have been at a, a real personal relationship that no matter what happened, y'all could have put me to the side and say, "Act, yo, I fuck with you, but let me te let me show you how to do this better." Or act down. That ain't y'all never did that. Y'all only did that in a hating way. Only when y'all views got down. That's not real. But it, I'm but I look stupid because I'm really spitting real shit to the industry. That's not cool. Yeah, the whole industry not cool. I'm reading what he said. He said, he "said so you big up." And help a woman a positive in a positive manner in Chicago earlier. That's dope. That's a start. But man, hip hop is giving us both a lot. That's facts. He says, "What do you truly give back to it?" He says, "Cause the way it feels, you use a culture and don't care if I'm wrong. Good. Hope I am. But that's how it seems." Yo, let me just tell y'all. Yo, this is where this is where it's fucked up. The OGs. Isolated the young the young bulls. Y'all was trying to shit on me. Bro, I didn't bring y'all up into shit on y'all. Bro, y'all brought me up and was talking about, oh, I'm living in a basement. Bro, y'all brought up the my house I bought cash and y'all said, oh yeah, he only Bro, he bro brought it up and said I only got it because of 6ix9ine. Bro, imagine me telling you that you only got your house or your everything you earned in your life because you was sucking dick. Bro, you feel some type of way. Kids, you have not... That, like, am I the only person that that can have feelings or y'all can't have feelings too? When y'all have feelings, y'all go crazy. But with me, it's like, oh, you shut the fuck up. That's all I'm trying to tell y'all. Bro, y'all chalked it up. Y'all say, yo, I had this house, but I only had this house. Ebro said cause it was because 6 9 and his label of managers gave it. Are you crazy? So when I now speak the facts, when I met 6 9 the first time we was in the studio, the well, first time it was an interview, but the next time we was in the studio, I told him, and Shadi was there, I said, yo, let me let y'all know this. I made a, I made a million dollars before I ever met 6 9 I'm not bragging, but like what you try to put out there is not, it's not helping me. It's you trying to sun me in a, in a roundabout way. I'm not trying to sun you. I never did that. And by the way, I know all this going to go on deaf ears and everything like that. But I just got to show y'all, man. 
Bro, I'm just one of those people, man. Yo, I don't care whatever happens with everything that goes down, bro. I just want y'all to be like, yo, I just being real, bro. I, I never want, if anybody ever call me like I'm not being real, bro, I will put everything on the line. I will tell y'all all my business. I don't care. I'm just not here to fake. I'm reading exactly what his message say. He said, he, lived, he said, he said, uh, um, he said, you think I'm not good with my stats and my bank account? I'm guessing maybe because I was shitting on him about, I'm sorry. He felt he had to say that, but it's cool. He said, he said he's lived his dream over 10 times over. This ain't about money or success. He said, you done your thing. He says, it's about using your platform for good. If so many people are barking at you, I know it's hard, but maybe listen to some of what's being said. That's all. Rosenberg, I'm going to keep saying again. Bro, I try to come in a game being cool with all y'all. Yo, let me tell y'all this, man. And I'll always tell y'all this, man. Just cause, Yo, me and Charlamagne, we had a long conversation. Me and a lot of people had a long conversation. Me and a couple of people who are managers of artists. I don't want to mention their name because I've known them for a long time. We had a long conversation. They told me where they thought that, yo, act. You straight right here. But they also gave me advice. They also told me this. They also told me that. These are people who, they didn't start today. They didn't start yesterday. They have been trying to be like, yo, act. You should do this. Or be like, yo, act. Yo, I like what you do that. They're not just here to hate. They're here to give positive and, and negative criticism. But they know they're here for a good reason. So they know I'm going to value their opinion. A lot of them hit me. I'm telling you, Charlamagne was one of the main ones. Salute to my nigga Charlamagne. I'm going to throw that out there because I'm going to tell y'all again. When I was trying to get an interview, trying to get on, yo, the people at Hot 97 said, I, yo, they said I was a hoe because I fuck with Charlemagne. And I was like, bro, I don't have no contract. Nobody's paying me. They said, we don't care. You fuck with him. Charlemagne had a girl in her office that said, don't interview Act because she went to the same college with me and she, and she thought I blocked her from some opportunity. Charlemagne still did it. I just want y'all to understand that that's what real is, bro. I'm going to keep reading. I think we get to the last part about what he's talking about. He says, I know my approach isn't always kind or positive off top, and I could work on that myself for sure. But the message is real. LOL. By the way, I, I, I saw some of it, but like, I just clicked out of it. He said, LOL, I saw you read this and then went on scene. You don't want the real talk. You just want the bullshit as I expected. Proceed with the bullshit. Yo, to my man Rosenberg, I'm not just here for the bullshit. I'm here for y'all being real people. You never wanted to talk to me before I became academics. I came in the game watching y'all morning show happen. I came in the game watching Ebro. And because I wasn't lit, y'all didn't want to talk to me. I don't know how it becomes on me that I have to seek out y'all opinion when y'all didn't care about me when I tried to. Again, with all due respect to you, with all due respect to Ebro, I didn't really appreciate, I'm going to be honest with you, I didn't, yo, just Rosenberg, I appreciate you talking that tough shit to me, my nigga, because I don't talk tough shit to a lot of people, but I'm going to keep it true with you, there's a very short list of people that if they really challenge me to really box them, that I wouldn't, straight up, I'll box Meek Mill if it's just him alone, if he ain't got the 59 chases with him. I'll box him. Of course for money. Because I do love money. You? I would have boxed you for free. That's what I was trying to tell you. I was trying to. I see some people like. Oh he's trying to set, her, set him up. Dog you could pick the gym nigga. I'm just trying to tell you. Like yo, if you just. Because you trying to bind to this whole thing. Like act a bitch. Alright cool. If I'm a bitch. Lace me up with gloves. Lace you up with gloves. And let's see who the bitch. And that's exactly what I was down to do. And by the way. If you want to switch your mind. Bro, you could go pick a place. I br like, I'm going to bring my niggas with me just in case you ain't no funny shit. But we could both lace up and really get to the gloves. But y'all had this whole perception like I'm just some hoe, this and third. Man, I'm trying to do the media thing and be a CEO, also be a, a media personality. And y'all be playing me. Y'all be acting like I'm... Y'all be doing the most when it comes to me. Like, 
I'd be really nice to y'all. But I just don't want a nigga like you to get on radio no more acting like, yo, oh, yeah, this nigga is super pussy. I saw my complex. He was shaking. If you thought that you were sh I was shaking and you saw me a complex, that's another reason why I didn't really want to talk to you. If you told me about your messages, you know what I talk? Bro, what you talking about? You said you saw me a complex and I was shaking. I bet. All right, nigga, let's box. You ain't want a box. I'm telling you, nigga, I told you, DM me the box. Don't DM me the talk. DM me the box. Maybe after we box, we shake hands, we can talk. You didn't want a box. I, I'm like, all right, bet. I want to see all that gangster shit or all that tough shit you were talking about. Let's do it. Nigga, you don't want to do it, brother. And I saved this for on stream because you know what I said a week? Because I'm tired of niggas in the industry talking about they'll fight. In the, I remember Soldier Boy and even Chris Brown. They said they want to fight each other. Nothing came of it. I told you a week because I wanted to have accountability. If you messaged me during that week and I did not respond like this, nigga, I'm pussy. Facts. But if you message me saying you don't want to box, you think I'm not going to say this something too? And I'm going to tell you this even now. Just because, like, I ain't going to lie, man. I got some frustration built up with some of y'all niggas in the industry. Rosenberg, if you still want to box, I'm here, nigga. Just hit me. You could pick the gym. I'll bring a couple niggas with me just to make sure everything's straight. But we could just box. You say you were, you were, you were down to meet up to link and fight. And in the first line, Peter Rode Rosenberg, look, I'm not meeting you to fight, bro. Like, bro, I'm just tired of the bullshit, man. I'm going to get off of this shit, man. Because honestly, truth be told, like, bro, I'm not into this drama shit, too. Like, I, I know, I know. I play my part, but, like. I'm not trying to be out here fighting nobody this and third. I'm on defense. 